Hello everybody, this is All Washington. This is the All Washington Rant. Um, today this on rant is gonna be centered on religion. Um, after you know many um episodes and seasons, I finally decided to uh, actually do a, a religion rant. Um, what better way for me to do a religion rant is to actually let you know what it is that I believe in. Um, many of you, y'all, uh, you know, y'all be on my Facebook page and stuff. Y'all see me um, uh, post a lot of stuff on sitting around or sitting around, you know, different things like, uh, you know, different inspirational messages, uh, particularly from like on Gerald Osteen and, you know, this other inspiration um, mimes and, and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Or I'll just uh, type in, you know, something inspirational and stuff. And many of you, y'all also uh, notice that even when I do um, post anything inspirational, you know, most of the time uh, I either want uh, to uh, mention God or the Most High God, you know. So, the, so uh, many, many of y'all, y'all been asking a question of, of uh, well, what was he talking about when he mentioned about the Most High God or God, was he talking about? Is that two totally different things? Is he talking about a different God or was he, what exactly is he going to talking about what is exactly is he worshiping well when i mention about the one most high god uh, you can want to find this uh, for, for christian people you can want to find this in your christian bible uh the, the term most high god is uh, mentioned a lot in the old testament as well as in the, in the new testament um so the reason why i call god the most high god me personally is because um uh because he's the god over everything over the universe every, over every Thing that you're going to think of and stuff. He's the God over that and stuff. You know, he's the God over us. He's the God over, you know, uh, um, angelic beings, um, you know, and other beings and stuff as well. You know, he's the God over all that and stuff, you know. So that's why I call him the most high God because he sits on the top of the, um, of the chain, you know, with, with every other, you know, known God that's mentioned and stuff. So, now, well, what is it exactly am I? Am I Christian? Am I atheist? Am I Buddha? Am I um, Hindu? Do I believe in Islam? Do I um, uh, believe in, you know, um, esoteric? Um, um, am I, do I believe in theism? Um, well, what exactly do Robert believes in? You know, this is, this is what, what I believe in. Um, my belief is this, and, uh, and it's pretty uh, straightforward and simple. My belief is that I'm a, I'm a spiritual being. Uh, by me saying that is that I believe things, everything that is spiritual. So in other words, uh, everything has a connection. You know, everything's connected together. It's we together. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, like, like a thread, bam, bam. Weave and carve it to you know making a blanket or whatever. Everything has a purpose and everything has a plan. So I believe I'm I'm um I'm considered to be um spiritual because I believe in all these things. I'm, I do believe in you know um um the the Christian belief. I believe in the um, Hindu belief. I believe in um the Buddha belief. I believe in you know um the 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 Islam belief. Um you know I believe in all these things because uh, through my one time of my personal journey of researching, you know, um, you know, God for myself and, you know, going through many different, um, different scriptures and texts and, uh, holy, um, texts and, and the like and stuff. I now came to a conclusion that all these things is actually, um, uh, carved together. It's the same exact thing. Um, it's the same exact story. It's the same exact God, but all the stuff it does being interpreted, interpreted differently, you know, by different cultures and stuff. So, my belief and my understanding is that, you know what I'm saying, I, I, you know, I believe in, you know, all these things and stuff, but however, you know what I'm saying, I do not believe in the, um, the faction about religion itself, you know, because um, the, the, the faction of religion itself is more dogmatic than anything. And the, when, when I talk about dogmatic and stuff like that, I'm basically saying that, I'm, I'm saying that it's, it's more, it corrects more separation instead of unity, you know what I mean? And so that's why, you know, I'm I'm not too fond of religion, even though, you know what I'm saying, I study religion, even though I inquire different things from different cultures in it, in the religion, you know what I'm saying? But 
force me proclaiming to be in a particular religious set itself I'm not in no type of religious sect whatsoever you could just call me spiritual you know a spiritual person spiritual belief being that believes in you know God or believes in the most high God and stuff so so with, with all that being said you know what I'm saying um um well what is it that that um that I believe in even about the, the Bible itself um well what is it to me the Bible is nothing more than, than a collection of uh, stories that's put, put together to teach you uh, a life application. You know what I'm saying? Uh, these stories is filled with historical events and all the stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's, uh, it's nothing more, to me, um, it's nothing more than, you know what I'm saying, reading a, um, you know, reading a book or a comic book or whatever. That's to, you know, that's to be, uh, to get insight, you know what I'm saying? to be inspired, you know. So there are different things that that's that's in the book, you know what I'm saying, that um that you know so I agree with, then there are some other things that, you know, I, I you know I don't agree with, which you know what I'm saying I don't, you know, necessarily follow and stuff, you know what I'm saying. But however, just because I don't follow it, that doesn't mean I don't respect the culture of it. You know what I'm saying? Like say for example, um um, you know, um I guess Christian. Christianity and stuff, you know what I'm saying? They um you know they believe in um tithing and tithing and offering and stuff, you know what I'm saying? They believe that, you know, say they should give their money uh, to the church. Uh, so, you know, the church should be prosperous and you know and, and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um I'm not, I'm not believe in tithing, but not in a way that um the modern day church under tithing, you know what I'm saying? How the way I under tithe, tithe is um, with different ways and stuff. Uh, no, I do not want um, to give, you know, my monetary gain to a church or to an organization and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Um, the reason why is because true tithing and true offering has, uh, the whole, in other words, the whole principle of tithing and offering solely deals with helping one another, you know what I'm saying? Helping each other, helping the one. Um, Helping, you know, the community, helping your fellow brother, sister who are in need. So I use my, my funds and stuff that I have and I use it to give to specifically to a certain person or or whatever or to a certain um um event. It could be like a charity event, whatever stuff and I use it that to give so I could be a blessing to that person or to that event or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I do sometimes do give to, you know, churches too and stuff. Uh, it does depends on, you know, the situation. It depends on, you know, how I feel about it spiritually and stuff. But most of the time I don't give to churches. I don't tie the churches um, simply for the simple fact that a lot of um, pastors and preachers are teaching the wrong principle about tithing and offering. And they literally being swindlers and stuff. Uh, they... Um, Another term is snake oil salesmen, where they selling the selling the product to a person and they want them to pay for the service, you know, say that they render, and that's what they do, you know, literally, you know, what I'm saying when they're in, in the churches and stuff is that uh, you, in other words, people pay for a show, and the show is the product, you know, what I'm saying when you go into the church and stuff like that, uh, you see your um, uh, you you have people who's in in a choir and stuff. You know you're being entertained with singing and dancing and stuff like that. That that you have a person who's which is the pastor or preacher. He gives you an inspirational message and stuff to to give you hope, uh, to give you um you know to um give you love and charity and peace and all these things. But what he's doing is that he's actually what they they do. They actually selling a product. You know what I'm saying to you and stuff. You know what I'm saying. So, with with that being said and stuff, that's the reason why I don't tie to a church. And no matter what church it is, I don't care what it is and stuff. Uh, uh, I necessarily don't tie to a church. But there, there do be some instances where I do with give, depending on how I feel about it spiritually. You know what I'm saying and stuff. So, um, now uh, by me saying saying all this stuff, you know, what I'm saying and just like I say, this doesn't uh, introductory rant about this, but by me saying this stuff, I'm not saying by any means that you know what I'm saying you should follow what I do and stuff like that. This is what I do personally between me and the most I got in my life. What I do and stuff. You know what I'm saying if you feel that you know what I'm saying you should be part of a church, uh, be, be be part of a church gathering and stuff like that, then fine by all means do that. If that's what's gonna help you to uh, get connected to the most I got, then hey by all means do it. 
If you feel like you need to want to give your money to the church and stuff because you feel you're going to get a blessing behind it and stuff like that. If that's how you feel to, you know what I'm saying, then, hey, go ahead, do it. I ain't knocking you on it or nothing like that and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, so uh, you know, even, you know, with, with your belief and stuff like that, I'm not even knocking you on, you know, if you claim to be Christian or whatever, whatever uh, set that you want to be a part of, but I mean, so I'm not knocking you on any of stuff, you know, believe it, you know what I'm saying? Long as it's getting you connected to the creator and stuff, and long as it's unlocking your true potential, you know what I'm saying? That's how that really matters and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Now, one more thing is that, um, since I'm on top of talking about religion and stuff like that, is that uh, one other thing is that uh, one thing that I, I do disagree with, I disagree with people who's, um, you know, Who's on dogmatic in their approach where where they say that um the only way you can get connected with God is that you have to read the word of God and you know and stuff like that. And stuff they say you got to go to church, you got to be like me, you got to dress like me, you gotta be Christian like me, or um um Buddha like me, Islam like me, whatever, and stuff like that. And so now I disagree with that. And so because um reading in the one uh, the sacred scriptures, it says that to each or to each to its own. And stuff, you know what I'm saying? So in other words, um, um, every person uh, has their own particular journey that, that they have to, that they'll go to, to, to discover who God is to them and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So it's not necessarily that it's going to always be the same path that everybody else is going. It's going to be a different path, you know what I'm saying? Well, different people will go and stuff like that. And stuff, you know what I'm saying? So if you're going against, so if you sit up here being dogmatic, you talking about where well, I got to stick solely about what this Bible or what the book says, stuff like that. Then, then that's when I disagree and stuff. That's when I kind of say that you're in error and you don't know what you're talking about and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And a matter of fact, um, the next rant I'm gonna put out is that I'm gonna talk solely about the Bible, about what it really means, what the Word of God truly means to me and stuff, you know what I'm saying, and you could be on enlightened about it, you can either agree with it or you don't, you know what I'm saying, um, so that my time is up um, in this rant, uh, remember um, to fight faith with faith, and like always, uh, my prayer with y'all.